In today's video, I'm going to be giving you a complete beginner's guide to the Pandex GDPR compliance Shopify app. So let's get right into it. The first thing you want to do is go to the link in the description. If you click that, it's going to take you to this page here, which is going to allow you to install it. From there, you can go ahead and click the install button and it should open up a new page. And now from this page here, you want to go ahead and click install and it should install onto your Shopify store. Now, first things first, it's going to get you to pick the plan that you actually want for your store. If you pay monthly, they have a basic one, which is free. They have one that's $9 a month, $25 a month and $35 a month. And these all do slightly different things. The basic one just gives you all the basic stuff. And as you go up, they have more things. So this one has like auto blockers, advanced blocking, admin mode, that kind of thing, all the way up to enterprise. And that can do stuff like block bots and stuff like that, which is a pretty useful tool for your store. So go ahead and select the one you want. And if you use the link in the description, it will give you a discount on these plans. So make sure you do that. So once we've done that, we should be brought to a page that looks like this. And the first thing you need to go ahead and do is activate the banner. So click this button here, activate banner. And this should go ahead and turn it on. Now I'd recommend going ahead and clicking this here. This will open up your store and you should see the banner at the bottom if it's active. Now for me the banner's at the top so it's working and I'll show you how you can uh, change the location of this later. So now that we've gone ahead and made sure it's working we want to go ahead and customize the banner. So we can go ahead and do that here. First of all we've got the the banner type slash consent mode and it's good if you read this guide here this will tell you on how you can actually set it up so it's completely compliant so you've got a few different options you've got the informative one so that's just a notice only banner you've got the decline only banner which allows people to only opt out this is not a good one to pick because people will just spam decline you've got the accept only this is uh, an okay one to pick sometimes it might not be compliant in your country and then you've got the accept slash decline one which has both on it and for that that's going to be compliant everywhere for the most part i'd recommend just sticking with that you've also got this one here where you can go ahead and pick the preferences but it's better if you just do accept and decline next up is going to have your privacy policy and the links to that and you're going to want to go ahead and show that on the banner and then in here you're going to want to pay, put the link to your privacy policy so you can just click on here and scroll down and you can find your privacy policy or you can go ahead and put X and you can manually paste it in and to get that you can go into settings and then go down to policies and then you can go over here and create a privacy policy from template you'll have to change all of the information in here the bits that are yellow are the bits you need to change you can go ahead and save that then if we go back to our online store and we go down to navigation we can then from there go to our footer menu, add menu item, click on here where it says search or paste a link, go down to policies, click on privacy policy, press add, and then save that. And then finally you can go into your store. And if I go if I go here, I go to the bottom, the privacy policy should be in the footer. If it isn't in the footer for some reason, like mine. We can go back and we can just add the privacy policy temporarily to the menu page up here and do that save that and then we can go into our store let me just refresh it and it would usually be up there i'm using a custom app so it's not showing up but then it would be up there and you could just copy the link there you can also go to your search bar and type in uh, privacy policy and it should come up again i'm using a custom uh, header so it won't work but then from there we can go ahead back to customize and we can put it in here for the privacy policy. You've also, you've also got your imprint page link which you can do the exact same thing with except you're going to have to create the uh, copy yourself. So we go ahead and save that. Then we've got open URLs and new tab. I'd turn that on. And you've got URLs to respect store local. So basically it's going to change the language of the thing. Next we have the reopen banner options. Depending on where you are, you might have to have this turned on, but you can either have a, a small reopen button, which will allow people to open it up and check the settings again. You've got the allow reopen from link, or you've got reset on click. And you can turn multiple of these on if you would like to, or you can turn them all off if you want to. 
Next up, we have our button displays. So this is going to be the button that people click on if they want to look at the cookie stuff. You can also do a text option here instead. And then you can also do both if you'd like to. You've also got animations. I wouldn't recommend putting an animation on. You don't want to draw people's attention to that because it will distract them from the website. And then you've got a close button here and also a leave site button. So if they decline the stuff, then it will send them to a different page. I would recommend just turning that off. Next up, you have explicit versus implied consent. So this basically means explicit means that the banner will keep showing up until they select an option or implied basically means if someone just clicks somewhere else on the page, that implies that they've consented to their cookies um, that way. Now, depending on where you live or where you're selling to, you might have to have this differently. Um, you can also add some settings here like vertical page cost if they scroll it will go away and also timeout if they are on the website for a certain amount of time it will also go away as well the other settings here is the duration so how long they're consented for you've got the domain you've got the banner delay how long before it goes up and in here we've got the block bots setting so this will block bots and we can also stop people going to other pages while the banner is visible and we can also turn on show on home page only we've also got a blacklisted page so this is pages that it won't show on and it's a good idea to put your privacy policy in there because people want to read that without having to consent to cookies. We can go ahead now and press save and that should save all of the behavior settings. We've also got the styling settings here. So we can select where we want it. We've got pop-ups, we can put it at the bottom. We've got our theme in here. And then we've got the alignment of text. We can also do that. And then we've got color palettes. We can select the different color palettes that we like for our theme. We can also put the colors in here and we can just copy the colors from our site. We also have our font families and all that kind of stuff and custom CSS if you want to add all of that in. And then finally, we've got our content over here. So this is basically all of the text inside of the box. You can go ahead and change all of these here. You've got all your buttons down here and you've got some other bits down there as well. You also got your logo here that you can change if you want to. Now there's a ton more settings that you can go through. Categories, geolocation, so you can change it based on location. You've got integrations in stuff like Facebook Pixel, for example. You've got your blocking scripts, uh, translations, everything you, you want down here. You've got your email templates, so uh, if, if you need to email them for some kind of reason. All of those settings are in there. And then finally, we've got our dashboard here, so we can just see how many people are accepting, how many people are declining. Uh, and that kind of thing. So that's basically how you use the app. If you enjoyed the video and found it useful, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below that it helped. Thank you for watching.